So the other day I went to a shop to buy this. One thing, maybe one other thing with it, but I ended up coming out from the shop with all this. Hello Mervi. So the shop where I went for this accidental art art supply haul uh, is called Sostrene Krenes and it's uh, I'm not sure exactly sure if I'm pronouncing it completely right because I don't speak Danish but it's a Danish company and um, and apparently it's an old company it was uh, the story is it was started by these sisters I think uh, Sostrene means uh, sisters last name Grenne I think means um, branches so branches sisters basically and it's mostly like um, all kinds of um, home decor kinds of stuff they're selling but they also have this arts and crafts section where I went to buy one thing and I bought a bunch of things so this is the thing I want to buy this suspicious looking thing it's in plastic bag and I'm not going to open this bag at this moment because I want to keep it keep it safe in there until I actually use it but it's um, it's called here it says it's cutting block made from soft material used for linoleum and textile printing easy to cut so it's basically like lino cutting, uh, lino printing uh, board. Uh, it's just made of this kind of rubber material, so it's not exactly lino printing, or at least the kind of lino printing I remember, which was a long, long time ago. I was lino printing, and it was uh, we used this actual linoleum. Uh, box which were you know same kind of linoleum they use on floors and it was really hard it had very hard surface it was very stiff because it had a, a hard background and it was difficult to carve and it was especially difficult to print with it because it was often a bit warped a bit curved I think it wasn't very good quality linoleum uh, but um, yeah, so I'm hoping this will be easier for for no printing. I don't know. We'll see. So this was the other thing I was thinking of buying. Like I went to the store and I was like, mm, I might might buy also this. And I knew they have this. Uh, it's uh, they call it a rubber roll, but it's for you know we know printing use use for it and I figured if I'm starting lino printing I will actually need this so I bought it it wasn't too expensive none of these were very expensive I spent in total uh, 20 euros which isn't that much for all of this stuff um, so the next thing I bought is this clay carving tools set. It has this uh, clay cutting uh, wire thingy, which looks a bit suspicious. Looks like something a hitman in the movie might use, or someone in a murder mystery, like a uh, Columbo. Columbo would turn around and say, "Just one more thing." <coughs> that was a impression okay so it has this clay cutting wire thing and it has this um, little sponge and I don't do actual clay work uh, but uh, I do um, that sort of um, self-drying clay stuff or uh, oven baked clay stuff so I figured I could use this because I was doing some some uh, self-drying clay uh, stuff which I'm not going to show you because it didn't go, out, go on very well and I noticed it was really difficult to cut that 
the block of clay. So I needed that and I figured I can use the sponge for for making the surfaces smoother, I hope. Um, the next thing, I'll push these over. The next thing, um, I bought this. This was one of the things I wasn't planning to buy. Does the camera actually show it? It's a, it's a paintbrush. It's a very long paintbrush. And it has this very small, kind of uh, rounded, flat, uh, but rounded uh, tip. And I figured I, I don't have that many uh, small tip, uh, tipped um, brushes, pen brushes. So I figured I could use one and I like the shape. And I'm now thinking maybe I should buy... They had this uh, same shaped uh, brushes in the shop, uh, like bigger, bigger ones. So I'm thinking maybe... Maybe I'd like to buy the bigger ones too, but I started with the small one because I don't have that many of those. Uh, I also... Another thing I really didn't plan to buy is I bought another of these water brushes. So this is that, that sort of a container brush where you put water in this, in this pan barrel, in the handle of the brush, and then you kind of... Uh, squeeze it to get the water out of it and I had one of these already but I figured it wouldn't hurt to have another one and this wasn't very expensive again none of these were so I I thought it'd be nice to have a, another one of these and so I bought it and then these two uh, brushes I bought them some going to attempt to get them out from here yes they came out uh, so uh, I like I said I don't have that many very thin very small brushes paint brushes and uh, I bought this set this one needs to be this one needs a little bit of water and a little bit of fixing but yeah I bought these two two thin uh, brushes so that I can do more like detailed work. This is labeled as zero and this is labeled as zero 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 so <laughs> this is the very small one and with my shaky hands look at that that's that's normal that's how much it sh shakes normally so uh, with my shaky hands, I don't know how much detail I can get out of it, but um, I'm hoping this actually helps because this is the it's um, it's shaped like this. I don't know this handle shape, so I'm hoping it will help me with getting those details right and not so shaky as usual. What is that? It's a piece of thread. Don't know where it came from. Right there. Um, this one I didn't know they had a stay wet paint palette in, in the shop. And uh, this is the thing I'm the most excited about in this whole haul. It's like I said stay wet paint palette. Uh, and um, it's not that kind of a uh, wet palette you usually see on you know on youtube and as where uh where the, yeah, where you have a like a sponge and then you put paper on it and then you put the paint on the paper to keep it wet this one is meant to be used so that you put i lay it down him so that you put the paints on this side in this basic palette side and here you have the sponge which you wet or dampen I, I guess and put it here on the on the uh, lid of this thing and then when you want to like 
like if you use squash or or um or maybe um acrylics or something something that you don't want to dry between uses you just close it and it keeps them wet and and um yeah but i was thinking i could use this as oops sorry i could use this as as that sort of a of a wet palette uh, and add here on this some paper and add the the uh, paints on this and then maybe use this as a cover this side as a cover if needed but uh, we'll see I'll, I'll have to test this out I'll have to see if if like which way works better for me if if I actually like just using this as a regular palette and then keep it, keep the the paints wet with the sponge and the lid. I was actually thinking about making myself a wet palette or stay wet palette, uh, but finding a, a container for it, finding something that's flat enough, but also is uh, is airtight. It was a difficult one, and also I didn't know where, where I would find a sponge, especially a sponge like this. This is not your regular sponge. This is not what you, you would use to wash yourself. <laughs> yes, this is kind of smooth, smooth surface sp sponge, but um, yeah, but because they had this whole set, I figured. I can either use it the way it's intended to be used, or I can make it into a wet palette myself. But um, maybe I'll return to that another time. So there's my whole um, art supplies, arts and crafts supplies haul. Uh, this time it wasn't, like I said, too expensive, even though it's lots of stuff and um yeah i'm pretty excited about this stuff hey if you'd like to see me uh, do something with uh, self-drying clay or with the oven bake clay or if you would want to see me lino print let me know in the comments if you want to see these kind of videos or any other kind of videos uh, i make Please subscribe to my channel and of course please like this video and then drop into the comments and let me know you know what kind of videos you want to see in the future if you want to see those you know printing videos maybe if you want to see those clay stuff videos maybe or I don't know maybe something else let me know <laughs> anyway, I'll see you around. Bye.